Hey gang, Tiger Bill here with another lesson. And this time it's based on requests from you actually. Uh, I did a lesson a while back that where we uh, did trading fours in jazz time, uh, jazz style, and we superimposed odd time signatures over the second four bar phrase. We did three, four, five, four, and seven, four. Well, a lot of you asked for the same thing uh, to be written for rock. So that's what we're gonna do this time. We're going to play it in a rock style. Let's check it out. The first exercise superimposes a three quarter time rock feel over a four bar phrase in four, four time. Now the exercise is made up of eight bars. And for the first four, I'm playing a basic four, four time rock groove. The second four bar phrase is where I superimpose a three quarter time rock groove. And because there are 16 beats total in the second four bar, four, four time phrase, but only 15 beats in the five phrases of three quarter time that will fit, we need to add one extra beat to complete the second four bar phrase. Here's the first exercise played slowly. One and two and three and four and. And here's exercise one, played up to speed. In the second exercise, we're superimposing 5-4 time over 4 bars of 4-4 time. So because there's a total of 16 beats in 4 bars of 4-4 time, that means that we can only fit 3 bars of 5-4 time into our 4-bar phrase with one beat left over that we'll have to fill to complete the 4-bar four 4-4 four time phrase. And here's exercise 2 played slowly. One and two and three and four and. And here's exercise two, played up to speed. In our third exercise, we're superimposing a 7-4 time feel over four bars of 4-4 time. This means we can only fit two bars of 7-4 time and we'll have two beats left over to fill in to complete our four bar phrase, which consists of a total of 16 beats. Now here's exercise three played slowly. One and two and three and four and. And now here's exercise three, played up to speed.
Okay, now just a little word here about nuances. When you're playing rock, you want to lay heavy on the bass and heavy on the, on the snare drum. Okay, and the hi-hat can be used for different nuances and it can really change up the whole sound of the pattern. You can make the whole thing sound lighter, your whole groove sound lighter or heavier, depending on what you do with the hi-hat. Now on this exercise, these exercises I played on the tip with the tip of the stick on the hi-hat and the splash with the shank. Like that. But if you want to get a different sound a little bit heavier, check this out. I'm going to play two bars the way I did throughout these exercises and the next two bars I'm going to play with a little bit heavier on the hi-hat and you check it out and see what you think. One and two and three and four and... Did you catch that? Okay, I just laid the shank on two and four, but I kept the hi-hat closed. So play with that, mess around with that. It means a big, it can mean big difference between the sound of your particular grooves. Just that little thing on the hi-hat can change the whole dynamic of what you're playing. And that's about it for now. Practice that up, get real comfortable with it. And next time we're gonna take this in part two, the conclusion to another level. Catch you next time, have fun, and stay loose.